Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're gonna continue up building Gibstopia and adding in a new highway as well as some fun other stuff. So if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Anyway though, I have saved up almost a million dollars because oh man oh man, this highway project is gonna cost a dollar and a half. My goodness gracious, let me tell you. So in the first episode, pretty much I went over some like large scale plans with the whole map here. And essentially the highway comes in like this. And then I was like, okay, if the highway ends here. We'll have it split off over this way into what will be our main city area. And then we'll split off this way just to all over there <laughs> and go all over the place. So essentially we need to make like a huge, huge interchange, highway interchange, I think it's called right here, kind of like a Triforce type thing. Then have it come down this way and make some kind of highway exit going to our mining corporation area. Oh, and I said I wouldn't do this, but I had a really interesting comment from one of you guys because I let you guys name all of the districts and it was from Phage. And essentially they had a different idea. It's like dig and sell company area or something along those lines for our mining industry. But I looked into what Phage meant, and phage is like short for bacteriophage, which is a type of like virus that acts as a parasite, and it digs into other cells, reproduces inside them, and then it like explodes. And that's like, yo, that's so freaking metal, dude. And so that's what the mining area is. It's digging into the mountain, and then it's not really infecting anything, but it'll explode with tons and tons of dollary dues. Tons <laughs> and minerals. Like, look at that. Already over a thousand dollars profit. <laughs> Just exploding with money. Anyway, though, I am going to get started with this ugh, interchange here. And it's just going to be a mess, to be honest. So I think I'm just going to go and boop it. <laughs> and there we go. Definitely did not end up looking like a Triforce, but it's kind of like. I don't know, like veins, or arteries, yeah, arteries. And you know what? That's actually very fitting because the highway system in a city really is like the lifeline of the city, the arteries of it, because it brings the traffic where it needs to be, keeps everything organized, and in a way, it kind of districts things out. Like, you can see this is now one area, highway cuts it up, then this is another area, Highway cuts this area up, and yeah, it really, really is like the core of a city. And that's kind of why I booped it too. It's like, I'm really putting a lot of thought into this, thinking I had a lot too, and I need to make it like perfect. Not just because I want to not have to worry about traffic later on, but mainly because I usually measure most other things off of my highway system. So I wanted to make sure measurements were like perfect. So like I reline this road up, Got the highway in a little bit further back. Just want to make sure we have nice, beautiful symmetry going on. So when we fill the stuff in later, everything looks all pretty. And then we're good to go. Now, next thing is bring the highway way deep into my city here. Because again, later on, this is all going to be high rises and they are going to be people aplenty. And what I want to do is I want to try and bring in not the exit, actually yeah, the highway exit way down like deep into the city here, like maybe even like way back here. Actually, you know what, probably like raised up about here. Can we get it over this other bridge? We can if we raise it higher. <laughs> it's looking a little crazy now. Definitely looking a little crazy now. That's all right. I really like uh, terrain elevation. And we're going to have this go right back here. Can it not go over that road? Why? Yes, you can. Don't lie to me. And we're going to have this come way, 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 way out here. And then we'll kind of hook it up a little later. 
And why I'm doing something like this is because I want to have multiple Wiis to enter the highway. Like a lot of other people that play this game always have all their entrances and exits to the highway all conjoined at one central location. But I find that bottlenecks traffic a lot. So what I prefer to do is I like to have multiple entrances. So say you are over here, right? Well, guess what? There's a highway entrance right over here. Can that get up there though? It's a little tall, clearly. But it works. At least I can make it work. Come on, come on. We're gonna make it work. There we go. Or actually, we could just have a different type of road. Yeah. Uh, main point being though, I just want to have many ways up to the highway. It's super tall. But I think it'll look really cool and futuristic once we get the taller buildings in here as well. Then just have like this just towering over everything as well. It really helps with the city look. Ooh. Ain't that cool. And then we can bring in a monorail as well. And then we have all these like skylines going amongst the skyscrapers. Oh, it'll look amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And there we go. So we have three entrances now. We have the one way over here, the original one. And then I added in this huge curve right up here too. So there's multiple ways to get back onto the highway, get you where you need to be, and you're set. Everything perfect. And hopefully, like the little corners like here, here, and down here won't get too busy. It might become an issue. In fact, right here, this is like really close together, but I don't want to ruin the look, so we'll make this road a one-way. So the traffic will never really overflow that much, hopefully. But then this road is almost useless, so we probably should turn that around. Yeah. Or we could just keep this as a two-way. And that'll be fine. There's plenty of room here. Yeah. That'll be absolutely fine. What? What's going on? Hello? Oh, I have to click. <laughs> there we go. With all my hours in this game, you'd think I'd know how to switch a road direction. Alrighty. And now for the highway entrance. So this is getting people from the city onto the highway. Now we need people from the highway to get into the city. And right over here, we're going to try and do something like that. I'm going to have to boop it again, though, because it might be a little difficult. Mean idea, though, is try to hook it up onto the main road here. And there we go. And I have to say, it turned out about a million times better than I expected. Essentially, the main road comes in, bringing people right to the main roadway here. It might get a little backed up, so I'll have to watch it. But I'm thinking I have it split off here, so it also exits onto this road. So if all the traffic is being split in half, maybe it will be okay. Again, still gonna have to watch. We'll see what happens. And then as for our little highway coming straight down here, I added in another little highway entrance up here. So skirt right up onto there and it's all good to go. And oh, the best part, the best part is look at the flow going on here. Look at the flow. It's like flows into here, goes out and around and it curves back in and oh, it just has such a neat look to it. And now, Okay, guys, you might think I'm crazy. You might think I'm crazy, but do you guys see an elephant? It kind of looks like an elephant. Like, this is the body. This is like the back legs. It doesn't really have front legs, but this is the head of the elephant, and then this is the trunk. Is that just me? I hope it's not just me. <laughs> Maybe I am crazy. I don't know. Oh, man. But I'd say this should work out quite well quite well to be monitored anyway also had to change up a few things I realized I made a bit of an oopsie over here and I had to add in a couple more roads just these two going from a to B and C to D because if you worked say in this house right the Brerwood residence if you wanted to go work in the mines you'd skirt up the highway and then you'd have to take this to get on the other highway. 
and then you're worried at the mines. And then if you want to go home now, go back, back onto the highway, and you have to take this little off-ramp. What do you even call this, actually? Connector? I guess so. You'd have to take this connector back onto this, and then you can re-enter, like, the city area. So, yeah. Now, admittedly, I, I'm not really, like, a super big fan of the look, but I'm thinking, like, later on, perhaps when this area is developed, I can kind of make this, like, a curve, or do something interesting here, and then put, like, a really cool-looking building right in the epicenter. And that might be neat. So, definitely room for improvement here, but it will work just fine. And then, minor thing, is I just added in a couple other little highway entrances and exits back here. So, again, same logic. If you work down here, or sorry, if you live down here and work down here, you can take the highway, and there's a little off-ramp, gets you right where you need to be. And then if you're a truck, you need to get to the highway, how do you exit? Right through here now. So you have to go up and around and boop, you're gone. And I have to say, I think that is our highway system complete. For now at least, until we start to expand a little bit over there. Looks really cool, really changes the look of the city. And now it really feels like alive with the arteries in there. Like a city without highways just feels like a town. Get the highways in there, Ooh, It's a spicy meatball. God, oh. I really hope this doesn't back up too. God, it looks so good. So good. Anyway though, we have spent enough time on highways. It is time to start something different here. And that's going to be right in front of our city, right down here. So I was looking at it, and this little strip, kind of along the beach, I think would be perfect for an amusement park, right? What a good idea. So, we're gonna make it one. So there's a little park zone over it, and look at that, it's called Chester Park, just off the bat. <laughs> you know what would be a kind of interesting kind of placeholder name? Jester Park. There we go. We'll just keep it as that, for now. If you guys have any name suggestions below, please let me know in the comments below and I'll switch it up. But for now, we'll stick with that. And now, I have never made an amusement park in this game, so I have no idea what we even do here. What do we even have? We have really cool red pass, the main gate, a small gate, and then... Oh, I see. Signs, we have some games! Coin game? Oh, that's like tiny. It's like all the tiny stuff. Do we not have any big things? We have the tiles, sure. Oh, but we don't get the rides until this is like level five? Brother. Oh man, this thing's gonna have to really, really take some time to level up. That's okay. You know what? Every journey begins with a step. Let's get started. Let's put the main gate. Oh, I wanted to put it right there so bad. Oh, that's so frustrating. Why can't it be a two tile entrance? I guess we can put it down. Oh. And then move it. And oh my gosh, oh wow, this, okay. Well that just unlocked everything. Oh wow, yeah, now we're cooking with gas. Now we can do something. Okay, well then. First off, let's move this a little bit over this way. Yeah, that's right. Game doesn't want me to center it. Too bad, brother. Can't stop the kibs. And now we can start to add in some rides. Are these the paths? So let's get some trees. Hmm. And with the gate right there, it's kind of splitting the park into two. There's like this area and this area. And I think what we could do is we could have like smaller kind of like games and stuff over here and the big rides over on this side. Yeah, I think that's a good way to start. There we go, the groundwork is done. Got a fence in, got some paths, and we are ready to make this park amusing. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> it's an amusement park. Oh goodness. Yeah, I'm I'm going crazy. So, let's start with the left side. This is kind of going to be like the games and like chill kind of side. You know where all those like rip off like 
dart balloon games are and stuff. Like Game Boost, yeah, exactly that. We're gonna be over here. And like little plaza as well. We're gonna have the plaza just right snuck in here. Come on, fit. There we go. And we're gonna just use a bunch of tiles out and around in this entire area. Kind of fill it up with tables and stuff so people can like chill on this side. And then we can throw in some games and stuff a little later. Can we bring this like... Oh, that's what I'm talking about, brother. Perfect. Right about there, just get it nice looking. Coolio, coolio, coolio. Now, uh, for the rest of the things, we have a souvenir shop. Well, psh, gotta have two of those. One on both sides. What if you only want to go on rides? Guess what? Souvenir shop, baby. You ain't missing that. <laughs> I have the restrooms. We'll get to that in a little bit. I want to have all the cool stuff front and center. And there's a cafe. That's what I was looking for. I want the cafe right in here. That's cool. How does that look? How does everything look? That is the coolest little cafe ever. It's kind of sneaking onto the pathway, but I can live with that. Little souvenir things look nice. It's too bad you can't flip the design, but I like the symmetry. Especially once we get some uh, more bigger rides in. The symmetry is going to just be gone. <laughs> so I'll enjoy it while it lasts. What else do we have now? Souvenirs, the games, of course. Now, how do I do this? Oh. Oh. I could make like a circle almost. Okay. Well, then to do this, I suppose I should have like a little path going in. Not directly next to the cafe, but something a little bit like this. There we go. And now we can have these in kind of like a semicircle, right? Yeah, bud. All good, all good. Except for one thing. <laughs> I didn't put the first path in evenly. There we go. I think that's even. Oh, man. I, it, it might be off by like an inch. I can't. I can't really tell. I guess if I can't tell, then it's fine. <laughs> so we'll leave it as is. I'm leaving a few spaces in between things just so we can put in trees later on. And now just for this little corner here, since it's kind of central, we're going to put a bunch of games in there. Or, even better idea, we're going to move the cafe down here so it kind of blocks the street view. And then we can have the games more centralized. Got to get those quarters, you know? Got to get them quarters. Looking good, looking good. And now we have the awkward space here. And, ugh. I didn't want to have to do this, but I think we're going to have to use the surface painter. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 wait. I actually got a good comment for an alternative. Essentially, a little one-by-one one concrete. But, oh, no. It will destroy the path there. That's all right. We just put it over here. Move it, mod it up. Beep, 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 beep. And there we go. Now I don't need to have to worry about ruining terrain. There we go. So a little more tedious, but at least it won't ruin the terrain later on. Good. Good, good, good. Now can we get a fence in here too? Just to kind of block it off from the dirt. Don't want anybody running on the dirt and then getting all machines dirtier than they have to be. And... That's almost perfect. Just move it over just a hair. These little things matter, man. These little things matter! Okay, that's as perfect as it's gonna get, I think. Good, good, good. So what's next on the agenda, then? We have our little games area ready. This is all set up. We need something over here. But I don't... I think we're kind of running out of amusement park things. We have the little things, sure, but... Yeah, we just have a carousel... We have another cafe. Oh, yes, the washrooms. I guess we could have some. Maybe a little further back, though. Probably about right here. That should be good. And then just in front of it, we can have like a little sitting area. So say you like, you and all your friends are entering the park instead of waiting like right at the main gate. You can just grab a table over here. There we go. That area is all set up. And it's perfect, right? Do you guys see the plan? You have the washrooms here, resting area here, and while they're all just waiting or doing whatever, maybe they'll look at 
the gift shop. Huh? 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 Wanna buy some some souvenirs? Yeah? Huh? Right there. Right there. Five feet away. Let's get, get the balloons. Buy the balloons. Yeah, of course they'll do that. Alrighty. And that is essentially like the pri the primary layout here. Now I just have to add in all the little details. Oh man, oh man, a little detail goes a long way. This place is looking awesome now. We have little games all set up in here. Added in some other park assets to kind of cordon off the cafe. Added in trees. So many trees. Uh, in the middle here and then just along the road. Because if you're having fun in here, you want to see the beach, you want to see the sun. You don't want to see... Bleh. <laughs> God, it looks just... Oof. We need some high rises in there. Yeah, you, you don't want to look back onto that. So try to get as many trees as I could in here. And then, yep, the waiting tables. Few little, like, hot dog stand type things. It's all looking good. I've left this area open for now. Because initially I was like, oh, I'll just put these little squares, like, out in here. Like the colorful ones. But with the angle that it's on, probably won't work out. So I'm going to wait a bit. And let this level up, and then, if something cool gets unlocked, I'll throw it down here. Like, I was looking through things, and there's like a drop tower ride. And that would look so cool if it was just right off in the corner here. At least I think so. So, just gonna leave it open for now. And then looking at things, you see the park entrance, right? Well, you don't want to see the two, like packs of buildings when you're trying to enter the park. You want it to look a little bit more enticing, right? You want to get those dollary dues. Because if no one enters the park in the first place, it's going to be kind of hard to sell that merch, right? So we're going to get to these a little bit later on. I have a bit of a better idea here. We're going to add in the merry-go-round. Initially, I was going to throw it over here, but I think over here will work out. There we go. And that's looking all right. That's looking all right. You know, except for like the washroom that's front and center of everything right there. So I guess I'll jumble it around and then it'll be perfect. There we go. Much better. Just threw the restroom right off in the corner here. Put another game thing right on this corner and bada boom. Look at that. Everything's looking great. I have to admit. Yeah, I really wish we had more rides right now, <laughs> so we had a bit more height to this, but for now, I think we did the best with what we got. As we unlock more, we will absolutely keep adding to this and making it look even better. Anyway, you guys, with that, I think I'm gonna call it here. We have got a ton done today. We have the highways all started. We got ourselves an amusement park going down. Again, remember to leave your name suggestions in the comments below. And we are moving and we are grooving. Next time, oh, next time, we're going to be in for some big changes because we finally get high density. Oh, and things will really start to get off the rails. But anyway, that's going to be all for today. So if you guys enjoyed, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next Sunday on the next episode of our City Skylines Let's Play. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye